could have lost most of the group. <laughs> I'm not riding as aggressive as I normally do. I like, I had a, uh, I was like, uh, I warned myself before I came out, like to ride nicely. Because in general, when I ride with groups like this, I, I get excited and I start to uh, behave like an idiot and do like small wheelies and gun the gas a lot and shoot around like an idiot like just I don't know just just ride very aggressively but uh, yeah so I kind of it's, it's been a long time since I've ridden with people and a lot of these people have never ridden with me before so I'm, I'm trying to make a good first impression Like it's been, you know, it's been two years since my accident and I haven't ridden a group, a group then. And before my accident, it was probably, let's say at least six months. So yeah, it's been at least two and a half years since I've ridden with other people in a big group. Uh, I've ridden a couple times with uh, my customers. Like my customers come out to do my scooter tour. And then, like I said already, uh, bikes to rent here are like 50 bucks. So I, I tell them now, you know, for 50 bucks, you know, when the tour is over, if they stay an extra few days, and I always recommend that, then I'm like, you know, for 50 bucks, we can you can go out and rent whatever bike you want, and I'll take my bike out, and we can go, go for a high-speed rip early morning. No police, no, no one cares. Um, there's also things you can do to ensure that you don't get any tickets from uh, fixed cameras. You know, it's not, it's not a big stretch of imagination. It's, you know, if it's early enough in the morning, there's no one on the road, and um, yeah, they're so they're so polite, aren't they? Like people pull over for every every turn, you get someone that like pulls off to the side and lets you know and makes sure the whole group's there. It was funny that uh, I was kind of uh, racing with another guy, not really racing, but just like a, you know earlier on, and his bike's a 1,000 cc. And mine's a 650, and uh, I, I I started to pull away from him. Like we were both gunning it, and I was starting to like take the lead. And he's the leader of the group, and he's got a bigger bike than mine. And I just felt bad, <laughs> so I, I just I so I chopped my throttle, and then I just let him go. As soon as I realized that I was about to overtake him, I just said, Oh no, I don't want to do this. Hot chick. Why, why am I back behind these people? I'm, ba I'm, ba I'm back riding with the... Well, I like to ride at the back because y you get a better view. That's another thing. When I do my full tour... Why is my voice so high this morning? Uh, that's another thing. When I do my full tour, it's like... All I ever get to see is empty road in front of me. But uh, I'm always envious of the people riding behind me because they get something to look at. Especially the people in the back of the group. They get a nice long line of motorcycle scooters, motorcycle slash scooters, uh, you know, winding away in the distance in front of them. If you ever do a group ride, that's where I recommend to ride. People like, you know, people are dumb. They're like, oh, I want to ride in front. I want to ride with the quick guys in the front so everyone can look at me. When you're in the front, you got nothing to look at except for empty road. 
but when you're in the back then you get the, 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 the then you get to look at all the bikes in front of you and watch the action and if there's any close calls you get to see that <laughs> when I first wake up in the morning if you ever sleep with me and you should because I'm I'm good at sex uh, but when I first wake up in the morning I've got like the deep we're talking Barry Manilow deep because my voice is deep it goes high in the videos because I think I'm speaking louder than normal and maybe I'm a little excited right now. But like my, if I'm relaxed or if I'm sleepy, my voice goes much, goes super deep. When I first wake up in the morning, like I can't even fake it right now, but when I first wake up in the morning, my voice is like Barry Manilow deep. So yeah, if you ever get a chance to sleep with me, take it. It's worth it just for my morning voice. And all the, you know, crazy orgasms are just an added bonus be you male or female I read that uh, I read online that the the Native Americans have like they have uh, five different genders <laughs> they have words for five different genders it's, it's not just like male female there's like male female then I guess you know gay male lesbian male so that's two more and then I guess there's a, oh, that makes sense. I, I thought five, wow, that's so many. And I'm like, well, in English, we kind of got five too, don't we? If you throw in bisexual, then we got five too. Okay, that wasn't as Im impressive a story as I thought it would be. There's the girl. Look at her legs, man. She's really cute. I'm not being pervy. I've told her, I've said to her face multiple times that I think she's like the cutest thing ever. <laughs> How are you? How are you? <laughs> she needs to work out more though. She doesn't got much muscle. But like the shape of her legs, that's just pretty. Shout out to Rebecca. I got a, there's a girl on uh, Facebook that I follow. Her name's Rebecca. Rebecca, I don't know. If you're friends with my personal account, you could just find her on my friends list. She's like this gorgeous Asian that races on the track and that girl reminds me of her. But Rebecca beats her out even. Although I recently found out she smoked, so my respect for her dropped, like, a lot. I wouldn't date a girl that smokes, period. Like, I don't give a fuck how hot or how, you know. It sucks, because you can literally never kiss them. Like, you know, like you're dating a girl that you can't kiss, because her mouth smells like a fucking toilet bowl. It's like, it's disgusting. Shout out to Rebecca! I don't know if that was a positive shout out or a negative. I think it was positive. There was, you know, most people don't give a shit about the smoking thing. Most guys are horny and desperate. I've seen the guys she's dated. They look pretty pathetic, so. <laughs> As, there was an extra burn to even it out, because I realized that my, 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 it was, it was actually a positive shout out, so I had to it, it even it out a little bit. Okay, what are we doing? Are we actually turning left here, or? Are they just changing lanes, or...? No, we're actually turning left. <laughs> oh, oh, that, ah. oh. It's just like, shut the fucking video off, retard. I'm not showing it for you, then. If you don't want to watch it, just shut it. It's the end of the fucking video. You can see there's only 10 seconds left after the... You know, the, when the, you know, the outro starts and then you, you look down, how time remaining, whoa, 10 seconds remaining, chances are there's not nothing after this outro, so just click fucking off.